What's going on, E Nation? I mean, this is the Impress 2000. I'm at the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel here. And welcome back to yet another diecast review. And this diecast review is going to be on Dale Jarrett's 2000 Ford Quality Care Service Ford Credit Ford Towers from Robert Yates Racing. And oh my goodness, this car is beautiful. So let's let's review it. So here we got the number 88 Ford Credit. Ford Credit Ford, Coca-Cola, Fleetwood RV, Motocraft Quality Parts, the Texaco logo, Ford Quality Care Service. Um, is it services? No, it's service. I'm stupid. And this logo. I can't tell what that is. They got the Ford Quality Care Service, Ford Credit. I don't know about this logo. Dale Jarrett's uh, name. Signature NASCAR 2000 and you got the 2000 NASCAR contingency sponsors and you got NASCAR Cup Series in 2000 because the NASCAR Winston Cup Series logo wasn't supposed to be on 164 diecast. So yeah, on the hood you got Ford Quality Care Service, um, Ford Taurus Robert Yates Racing number 88 on the headlights, same side as the left. QualityCareService.com. I wouldn't be surprised if that website still exists to this day. Number 88, Ford logo, Robert Yates Racing on the taillights. Number 88 on the roof. It looks faded. I, obviously, this is not the Noble buy version. So, yeah, the 88 is faded for some reason. And you got Quality Care at your service on a Declan. Um... If you ask me, between uh, the quality, the Ford uh, Quality Care Service car or the USPS cars, I would go for the Ford Quality Care Service livery any day, specifically from 1998 to 2000. Um, the Ford Thunderbird looks fine, but it looks better on the 98-2000 Taurus, in my opinion. I can see why people love this livery. It's iconic, it's classic, the colors are fantastic, the designing is fantastic. Of course, the main color of the car is red, uh, red, white, and blue. Primary color of the livery is blue, of course. And I love how the red stripes, they're based off of the American flag, of course. What a gorgeous car. A red back bumper with some white uh, blue spoiler. And you got... Uh, the red lines down here under the grill. The 360 of this beautiful car. Honestly, I'm a bigger fan of the uh, the patriotic one. Um, uh, the Air Force one right here. This is a good looking car too. But the Air Force one, honestly, I love it. The color is fantastic. But yeah. Still, just a gorgeous car regardless. No matter... What year, no matter if it's Air Force or normal. Um, obviously, this is iconic. This livery is iconic for winning the 2000 Daytona 500. I'm talking about 2000 specific, by the way. He won championship 99, but it was a different Taurus. But yeah, he won the 2000 Daytona 500. One of the worst 500s, of course, in Oscar history, unfortunately. But yeah, not only that, he also won the Bud Shootout as well. So yeah. Uh, Daytona in February almost treated him well because he didn't win the dual races. Then sweep Daytona triple. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, sexy car. That's all there is. Especially when Winter Circle. Was it Winter Circle? It might be. Um, especially since Winter Circle made the car. And also, I do have the hood of this car somewhere. So, yeah. With that being said, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this Diecast review. This is the Impress 2000 and my the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. The next Diecast reviews for like pre-recorded Diecast reviews, it will be the 187 Diecast that came along with my 164s on the June 1st, 2021 haul. So yeah, this is the Impress 2000 on my the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. Goodbye everyone.